Well, he's one of our first guests, and well, he was one of our first guests actually on the show. One of our favourites. He rose to fame as Murray Hewitt from Flight of the Concords, and has gone on to star in films such as Yes Man, Jumanji, Hunt for the Wilder People, as well as a whole heap of other stuff as well. Our very own comedy star and now children's author Reese Darby joins us now with his brand new work, The Top Secret Undercover Notes of Buttons McGinty, Book One. It's so great <laughs> to have you back. Yes. Thank you. Thank you. You were. I I totally forgot that. You were actually one of our very first guests here and we had the lolly jar and you absolutely oh, just sent the lolly jar everywhere. I think those lollies right. are still in there. Yeah. With and some of our guests still eat them here. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, every time I say, Reese and Darby spill those all over the floor. Yeah. Sorry about that. No, it was good time, good fun though. Uh, but now you're back with this. So mm. why did you decide to write a book for kids? Well, it was the right time. Uh, my kids uh, kept pestering me about it. They said, Dad, you're funny. You can write some books for kids. <laughs> And uh, Scholastic approached me. Uh, you know, David Williams is a big uh, author in the UK, and he's a comic actor. And uh, they kind of said, hey, why don't you give it a go? Uh, that was the nudge there. Um, and I said, all right, all right, I'll do it. Uh, I need a good idea. And so I thought about it. And then I came up with a great idea. And I wanted my book to be different to your usual kind of novel type books, that all the, and definitely different to, you know, what some of those authors in the UK were doing. And had to have, obviously have a real New Zealand take on it, um, but really I wanted to sort of reach for those reluctant readers uh, because one of my sons is is that, and I was that growing up. I, I I looked at books and I saw the words and I went, oh, I'd rather go kick a ball around. So to get uh, particularly boys to sit still uh, for five minutes uh, and actually you know do a bit of reading. Yeah, not play Fortnite. Exactly. Get yeah. off to Fortnite. Um, <laughs> what is the key? And I thought, well. What do I like? Humour, number one. Mm -hmm. You've got to laugh. Yep. Uh, I like to do drawings. And, and I know as a kid, uh, I was a fan of graphic novels. I like visual representation. But not only that, the way my brain works, I, I also like, and I'm not the same as everyone, obviously. Everyone's different. But I like lists and maps and things like that, even graphs. Uh, I mean, <laughs> so how my, you know, my brain works. And arrows pointing to things. So I thought, well, what sort of books do I like? And I, I'm a big adventure fan. I'm a big Indiana Jones fan. So what I like is Indiana Jones's notebook because I think uh, nice. you go through that and yeah. there's sketches, there's, yeah. there's um, clues, things that he rubs in, you know, he, he, uh, with, uh, with his pencil and things. And then imagine... Uh, finding a book like that, but it was written by a kid, and as you go through it, you unfold that this this kid is on this crazy wild adventure, and you kind of yeah. So that's the book I wrote. It's a, it's a journal. And did the book evolve as you wrote it, or did you have your graphs and your plans and your <laughs> lists, and, and you know know where you're going to end up? a nice little plan of a boat there we just saw. Yeah. yeah, there we go. So basically, I tell you how it evolved. Uh, the adventure unfolded as I wrote it. So I really, as an nice. actor, I pretended that I was this kid. Brilliant. And uh, so as I wrote in the journal, um, I imagined what was going on, and then I did all the drawings, and he was on the boat, he was off, at, off to this uh, prison school, and then he started, and he met these other kids, he was in this dormitory, and then he started to uncover this secret society, and this is untoward behaviour that's going on there, and he kept drawing little notes, and he's into Morse code. In fact, that's his first language, which Love is it. rather odd. But uh, I, I learned Morse code <laughs> in the army. And uh, not Trudy. many people do Morse code these days. So I'm trying to bring it back. <laughs> <laughs> and that's what I think of you. Uh, well. <laughs> so it's a bit of fun. And you'll stop tapping, Sorry. please. <laughs> right, and, the, and I heard some kids the other day describe this as silly, yeah. which is great, I think, for a kid's book. Mm. Uh, and, and one other kid said, really hard not to laugh. And I was the same, because I grew up listening to sort of things like Bad Jelly the Witch yes. with Dick, Ear, yeah. uh, Dick Weir. Um, and, and you don't get those sort of adventure stories anymore. You have captured it so brilliantly with Kiwiisms in here yeah. as well, Reese. You've yeah, got to have your jandals. But still got to appeal <laughs> to the global market as well, Reese. I think so. Uh, when I read it through, because my 12-year-old's read it and he loved it, couldn't put it down. I read the whole thing in your, in your voice. Was that something that you anticipated would happen or not? <laughs> what do you mean in his well, voice? Yeah. When you read you a do. book, you have a yeah. voice in your head. It mm -hmm. was like, you know, it was like, it was, I woke Silky up. I can't do it. Yeah, I know. It's embarrassing for all of us. No, that's cool. I, I, and I read it in my voice too. <laughs> <laughs>
which is fun. It's fun for me. But I tell you what, uh, I'm going to eventually do an audio version too, where I'm going to actually, obviously, read it. Would you like me to be you in that? Because I do a really good job. Yeah, I might get you to come in. You'll be, <laughs> you'll be cheaper. Uh, so, but I'll do the different character voices, and also I want to do all the sound effects because I can do sound effects. I thought well, the audio book's going to be rather special, oh, but yeah. that's not going to be for a while. You've got to get the actual journal. This is the book that he wrote. He went on this mad adventure, and then. I won't tell you what happens in the end. It's a cliffhanger, and there's uh, another book coming. Oh, so all great, you know. Buttons McGinty lives a good life, and he also you did all the illustrations to this. So every single picture in here you have done. Mm. Did you, you know, was that something you've always done, or did you just learn how to do it for the book? No, I've always drawn. Uh, I guess it's one of my uh, the strings on my bow. Yeah, many. Yeah. Yes. So as a kid, I used to just doodle all the time in class, and yeah. I did little um, comic strips for my friends and things like that. And then going into adult life, uh, having my own notebook for comedy, writing down notes. Oh, yeah, I would do little drawings while I'm thinking about things and design sets and things like that. And so yeah, it's just very clever. as well. Yeah. Um, what I want to know is when do you find the time? Because I mean, you're obviously starring on these Hollywood blockbuster movies mm -hmm. and doing a whole and TV shows as well. When do you actually find the time to write a book? It's during those times, <laughs> because uh, not many people tell you this, but uh, during filming of you know films and things, there's so many hours when you're just sitting in your trailer doing nothing, and my creative brain is just like, I've got to do something, I've got to do something. So I did this, and uh, it's either that or sleep, and so you know. Thanks so much. Did your boys love it? Yeah, yeah. My, yeah. my eight-year-old wouldn't put it down. He nice. took it everywhere to restaurants, to school, and right. then, and I think he's read it three times now. And he, uh, he gets me to read it as well, so I can do the, the funny the voices. <laughs> yeah. so yeah. And he'd be your biggest critic too, wouldn't he? You oh know? yeah. No, yeah. the 12-year-old is. Oh, right. Yeah, he's more of a... 12-year-olds <laughs> know absolutely everything. Hey, well, it's been a pleasure having you in here. Thank you. I'm uh, looking forward to having you back for book two, too, when that comes out. Yes. It will be on the horizon. Yeah. Reese Darby's The Top Secret Undercover Notes of Buttons McGinty. Book one is available now from all great bookshops. Yeah, brilliant. Love it. Thanks, Reese. Thank Always you. a pleasure to see you.